On the track, 12th race, the matron final for two-year-old Colton Gelding Pacers, purse 246,000, trifecta and exacta. Number one, owned in Old Westbury, New York by Perfect World Enterprises, a fast-improving winner of four races this season in 11 starts with two seconds. Two of his wins have come during the Grand Circuit's annual stops in the Midwest. Trained by Brett Pelling, Jim Moran drives from post two, number one rapid dialing. 1A, coupled in the wagering and also owned by Perfect World Enterprises, a winner of three of the biggest races of the season. The Champlain, Nasa Gawea, and the Governor's Cup, plus an impressive victory in last week's matron elimination. Bred in Delaware, trained by Brett Pelling, Ron Pierce drives from post five, 1A, I am a fool. Entering the track 1B, the third part of the Perfect World Enterprises entry, a four-time winner with a second in nine starts this season. He took his 152-3 record, winning a Governor's Cup elimination, trained by John Bavosi. Luke Willett in the bike, starting for post seven, number 1B. Times are changing. On the track two, owned in Wilmington, Delaware by m &L of Delaware, winner of eight races and 12 starts with three seconds. In recent starts, he has won a Pennsylvania Sire Stakes, the Pennsylvania All-Stars Final, a Bluegrass Stake, and an international stallion stake. His 151 four fifths win in last week's matron elimination is a track record here at Dover Downs. Trained by Larry Rathbone, Dave Pallone drives starting from post one, number two, Mantacular. Three owned in Florida and in Georgia by Norman and Gerald Smiley, along with Jerry Langfelder and TLP Stable. Winner of the Pennsylvania Sire Stake Championship among three wins with nine of ten starts in the money. Trained by Chris Ryder, John Campbell drives from post three, number three, Metropolitan. Four from New Jersey and New York, owned by Milton and Martha Frank, along with Ted Gewertz and trainer Joe Holloway, an impeccably bred colt whose sire and dam were both Breeders' Crown champions. A five-time winner this season, trained by Joe Holloway, Dave Miller drives from post four, number four, driven to win. The five from Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania, owned by his breeder Newman Racing Stable, in keeping with his half-brother, two-time matron in progress pace champion, Powerful Toy, this is an emerging colt who has been one, two, three in seven of nine career starts. Trained by Pat Lachance, Mike Lachance drives starting from post six, number five, Incredible Toy. And completing the field, number six, owned in New Hope, Pennsylvania, by Arlene and Jules Siegel, a stakes-tested performer and winner of the Battle of Freehold and runner-up in several top events, trained by Jim Campbell, George Brennan in the bike, starting for post eight, number six, Harry Hornet. That's the field for the $246,000 two-year-old Colton Gelding matron final on the pace. Post time, five minutes away. Tiro Colton Gelding Pacers behind the gate, matron final purse 246,000. There out there goes I Am a Fool from the center of the track out for the lead man. Tacular down toward the inside. Rapid dialing gets away in third up on the far outside. Here comes Harry Hornet with the rail. That's Metropolitan, who got away in fifth racing, sixth driven to win. Then it's Incredible Toy, the early trailer. Times are changing as they. Fight for that lead around the first turn. Mantacular with I Am a Fool. Opening quarter, not that fast. 28 and 3 fifths. They move by the stands and getting that lead. Mantacular. But left outside is Harry Hornet, who has to come up after the lead now. And Mantacular has to step on it now. And so Mantacular is hanging Harry Hornet as they go to the clubhouse turn. Two lanes back. I Am a Fool is next. Coming to the outside is Metropod. Rapid dialing has the rail. Following out there is Driven to Win. Trailing the field, Incredible Toy, and times are a change. In 57 and two fifths, they battle around the turn toward the back stretch. Mantacular with Harry Hornet right up alongside. Sitting there perfectly now is I Am a Fool. It's about two lanes back to Rapid Dialing. Coming three wide now. Driven to Win is up into fourth as they go toward the end of the back stretch. Mantacular, Harry Hornet, driven to win up into third. Down at the rail is I 
am a fool. Three quarters now in 125 and three. They're midway on the final turn. Mantacular, Harry Hornet. Then comes I am a fool. Driven to win has to go three wide right now and trying to fire out there wide. That's Luke with times are changing. They're at the top of the stretch. Mantacular has got the lead turning for home. It's Mantacular. Here comes I am a fool on the outside. Mantacular, but I am a fool. Goes by to win it. I am a fool, Mantacular. Then it was rapid dialing and incredible toy, 153 and 2. In the winner's circle is 1A, I am a fool, 2 year old brown coat by Life Sign, owned by Perfect World Enterprises, trained by Brett Pelling, driven to victory by Ron Pierce, 153 and 2 fifths, trifecta 7740. In the winner's circle, making a blanket presentation, manager of harness racing John Hensley, along with publicity director Mark Buckrod. Probably the best matron two year old coat final in uh, history, at least here at Dover Downs, and probably in the long, long career of the series, as we saw today. I am a fool, a horse, believe it or not, that has a big, strong Delaware connection as well. Joe Hurley's Roll the Dice Stable is the breeder of this uh, fine colt, and Ron Pierce certainly gets along with him. He had a good trip tonight. You were in the right spot at the right time, and it seems like uh, I see you quite often in this winter circle during the matrons. It's a good thing, uh, Marv. It's a pleasure being here. What about uh, the race itself? It, uh, it unfolded where you left, and there was a lot of early speed, people going for that lead, and you tucked in just right. I was going to go to the top, but then I didn't want to deal with Joe. i seen a little gap. Insofar as uh, I'm a fool is concerned, uh, he came into the race a winner of three quarters of a million dollars. He certainly uh, has shown that he is a, an elite two-year-old. Yeah, he sure is. We took our time bringing him along nice and slow, and we didn't ask him to giddy up uh, until he was five, five, six starts into his uh, career. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last couple times we've, we've called on him, he's really responded well. Brett has him tip-top shape. Yeah. Well, of course, uh, Brett Pelling is an excellent conditioner, and he's been in the winner's circle several times already in Matron and the Limbs, now for this final. And for uh, David Brooks and Perfect World Enterprises, uh, they're a, a big dealer in horses. They buy a lot of young horses, and this has got to be the best two-year-old that I can remember them having. It seems like it. He, he's, uh, he's right up there with the best of uh, what they've had, if, if not the best. This was a top field of two-year-olds. How did you look at the race going in? Well, I just uh, wasn't sure uh, what to expect. You know, there's Colts, all of them can do most anything uh, any of those boys wanted to do. So uh, we were just going to wait and see what happened when the, the gate uh, opened the wings. I see that you've also brought your good luck charm with you. Yeah, my mom, she's come out from the West Coast, and um, she's leaving tomorrow. Well, she certainly's had a good week and uh, been in this winter circle several times. Thank you very much, Ron Pierce. Mrs. Pierce, nice seeing you as well. And that's uh, the first of the big races for this week here at Dover Downs. We have two more matron championships coming up, the three-year-old Philly Trotters tomorrow and the three-year-old Coat Trotters on Thursday. They should be exciting races as well.